Hi, my name is Barb Hush. I work for the Door County Library at the Forestville Branch in Forestville, Wisconsin. And I would like to read a story for you right now for your children. And it is called Huck Runs Amuck. And it is by Sean Taylor. And the art is by Peter H. Reynolds. And it is published by Penguin Group. And they have given us permission to read this book to your children today. So I hope they like it. Let's get started. It, Huck runs amok. Here is a mountain goat by the name of Huck. Do you like his trendy beard? I do. I didn't know it was trendy though, but I like it. Like most goats, Huck will eat most anything. Cardboard boxes, woolly gloves, bird's nests, but cardboard boxes taste like boring afternoons. Woolly gloves get stuck between your teeth, and the bird's nest makes him Achoo! sneeze. What he really loves to eat are flowers, flowers, flowers. Huck dreams of mountain meadows full of flowers and mouthfuls of petals melting on his tongue. Look at him. Oh, is he ever enjoying eating those flowers? But the problem is other goats like eating flowers too, so there aren't any left. Except for over there, look at those flowers. Huck is looking at them and uh-oh, he's not going to try that impossible climb. Is he? Let's see. He is. He can't resist. He scrambles on the tips of his super gripped toes. He clamors with his knees, his tail, and his nose. He's up on the rock without hesitation. He's a clip-clopping, cliff-hopping, climbing sensation. He's nearly there. He's got one hoof on top. His teeth are a whisker away. But oh no, we've lost him. Where is Huck? He's tumbling, bouncing, sliding, rolling all the way to the village of North Polka Dot. There's the village of North Polka Dot. Oh my goodness, he's falling and he's going towards that village with the polka dots. Across the main street he comes and oh no, he's going to land in Mrs. Tuppleton's pond and sink without a trace. Look at, there's the pond and there's Huck. Look at that fish. That fish is saying, oh no, doesn't want that big goat falling on him. Splash down, but then he realizes the water is only knee deep and uh-oh, he's not going to eat Mrs. Tuppleton's flowers, flowery underpants. Is he? They say goats eat anything. He is. He can't resist. He scrambles on the tips of his super grip toes. He clambers with his knees, his tail, and his nose. He's up on the clothesline without hesitation. He's a high kicking, back flipping, climbing sensation. He's nearly there. He wiggle waggles his tail. His teeth are a whisker away. Look who's in the window. Does she look happy? Mm -mm. Not very happy. He's about to eat her clothes. My goodness. But oh no, it's Mrs. Tuppleton's German Shepherd Dog. Woof, 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 he says. The clothesline gets in a spin. Huck jumps, he hopes for the best, and lands in a pile of boxes outside Mr. Hartwig's general store. There he is now. He landed somewhere different again. He's in a lot of trouble, isn't he? Huck takes a big bite of a box. It tastes like boring afternoons. But look, what's this? Uh-oh, Mr. Watson has bought some flowers for his wife. Huck's not going to snatch them, is he? He is. He can't resist. He scrambles on the tips of his super gripped toes. He clambers with his knees, his tail, and his nose. He's up on the bridge without hesitation. He's a clickety-clackety climbing sensation. His super grips his toes. He reaches down. His teeth are a whisker away. He's about to eat the flowers from that man's hands. What happens now, do you think? Let's see. 
But oh no, a train. It gives Huck such a shock that he tumbles upon a boy on a bicycle. He hopes he's got the flowers between his teeth. There's the train. And the train is scaring him. And then, but Huck's disappointed. He's got something else. Oh my goodness. Now what's this? It's Melissa Spooner's wedding. Everyone is ready for the family photograph. But what does Huck spot? The flowers on Mrs. Spooner's best hat. Uh-oh, he's not going to climb that hedge and eat them. Is he? Let's see. He is. He can't resist. He scrambles on the tips of his super-gripped toes. He clambers with his knees, his tail, and his nose. He's up on the hedge without hesitation. He's a sneezing, wheezing, climbing sensation. The photographer is ready. Everyone's smiling. Huck's teeth are a whisker away. But, oh no, a gust of wind has lifted Mrs. Spooner's hat high into the air. There's the hat. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens now. My best hat, she cries, as it lands atop the church spire. If only somebody were brave enough to fetch it. But Huck isn't listening. Those flowers look tasty, and he can't resist. Look how high up that hat is, way up there with the flowers on it. He scrambles on the tips of his super grip toes. He clambers with his knees, his tail and his nose. He's up on the church spire without hesitation. He's a lurching, perching, climbing sensation. Will he make it all the way? It's harder than he thought. The spire has slippery sides. Huck glances down. All around, people are peering at him. There's Mrs. Tuppleton. There's Mr. Hartwig. There's the Watson family and the Spooners. Everyone is urging Huck on, even the German shepherd dog. He's going to rescue the hat. That's one big heart and one little goat. Woof, 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 woof. The people seem so proud of him. Mrs. Spooner looks so pleased. Huck's teeth are a whisker away and... Oh no, what are they going to think if he eats the hat? Hmm, he has a decision to make. But he doesn't. A cheer goes up. Huck turns around. The hat is in his mouth. Huck gives the hat back to Mrs. Spooner without even a nibble at the flowers. She is so delighted, she invites Huck to the wedding party on the village green. It's a perfect occasion. Birds are singing, butterflies are fluttering. A five-tier wedding cake sits on a flowery tablecloth. And Mrs. Spooner says to Huck, you can eat just whatever you like. Hmm. So he does. Look at he eats the tablecloth. Ah, he's so funny. Thank you for listening to Huck runs amok. I thought it was a fun story. A little crazy. I like it. Bye. Have a great day.